as Nike did an incredible job delivering on the nice jerseys for the season for the WNBA in LaChina right out of the gate. The Atlanta Dream get the ball and what are you looking for from their offense? To get everyone involved, she's done it in nice fashion as well. Turnover for the Dream, block at the rim and Myesha Hines Allen finally gets the Mystics on the board. In this possession, Cheyenne Parker going against Tina Charles and a little bit too much at the top of the key for the turnover. Natasha Cloud, skip past the aerial. Atkins in the corner, sizes it up, drains the three, something she's very good at. Tiffany Hayes going against her former player with UConn, Tina Charles, and Tiffany Hayes doing, I think she heard you, Latina, getting to the basket, knowing that's where she gets her game started. Very smart move, veteran savvy move. If she's in the paint, the, deep, the double team can make its way over, but she was too far out. Billings, as always, great activity on the old glass. Carter's just perfect for it. I mean, her electrifying play, her energy on both ends, and you know she, she's starting to understand the point guard responsibilities a little more as well. Shavante Zealous. Really good help at the nail there by Odyssey Sims. Tina Charles from the three. They're going to count that one as she looks at the crowd. So Tina Charles, five points so far. Two for four from the field as Odyssey Sims. She's got it. Former MVP in 2012 as well as she takes another shot from the top of the key. She doesn't make them pay, but it's close to a rebound for the Mystics. And Odyssey Sims pushes the pace for Atlanta. Tiffany Hayes, a raindrop three is good. As well, Erin McDonald works it around the perimeter. A lot of contact drawn for Odyssey Sims. She said count it. The last game, seven points she's averaging, but she's just been pretty impressive offensively as Ariel Atkins has been pretty impressive herself. Hawkins playing against her old team and Kira Leslie with some confidence in her jump shot there. Where she already had a 30 point game under her belt for this season as well. I mean, looking back at that team in the Wubble, it was only Myesha Hines and Allen as Ari McDonald. You talked about how teams are playing them differently, but it comes down to just making shots. Hines Allen for three, showing us everything in the back. Atkins. A lot of action at the top of the key for Atlanta's defense, but that leaves Maisha Hines Allen open from the three again and knocks it down. She has a matchup with Ari McDonald. Let's see how this one goes. Ari for the fadeaway doesn't go, but Elizabeth Williams scrambles and tracks it down. Second chance opportunity works well for Atlanta. Courtney Williams with the three. So Courtney Williams has five points after just checking in the previous possession. Leilani Mitchell from the outside and Atlanta once again have to find ways to defend the perimeter. Poor lead this season compared to what she is capable of from the three-point line, but nails that one in another beautiful move as Charles gets caught on Hayes. She's been getting some very key minutes. has been very efficient in those minutes as well. All the way to the rim, finds Cheyenne Parker, bump from behind, and get the bucket to go. But Javante Zellis pointing to her head like, ah, got to think better. That's her second foul. But Cheyenne Parker now on the board. Boy. I mean, who has more moves than Tina Charles? Courtney Williams calling her own shot and drops it. Oh, she's about to hit that jumper. It's eight points for Courtney Williams. Two for two from beyond the arc. Ariel Atkins all the way to the bucket. My goodness. She looks like a completely different player. She is just, I mean, playing with a lot of balance and, and confidence. I mean, Odyssey Sims trying to get things going for herself as well. See a little of that in her game as well. Tiana Hawkins from outside, and you have to love seeing the outside shot falling for Hawkins. Tina Charles, the Mystics have missed their last seven shots. Crystal Bradford with the energy off the bench for two. Look at the fans. They love Crystal Bradford. That's the loudest applause we've heard all afternoon. <laughs> Got us out our seats in Odyssey Sims. You can see the energy continuing to flow from Atlanta. Back-to-back -back buckets. They've been getting it done. Discipline in that area. Tina Charles with the dish to Natasha Cloud in the corner. A much-needed bucket for the Mystics. 
So 13 points for Tina Charles. Double, double figure scoring game for Tina as Odyssey Sims just picking up where she left off from that first half, 13 points. Then Coach Peterson was happy with, but the aggression hasn't changed. Tiffany Hayes, welcome to the building. Beautiful play by Atlanta offensively to start the quarter. So it's always good. We love the energy that's around this dream team as well. New ownership. And just them being proud of what they've been able to do for the city as Maisha Hines Allen, Cheyenne Parker rips down the rebound. Cheyenne Parker with four rebounds. Courtney Williams playing with four. It doesn't matter. Natasha Cloud in the corner. Natasha Cloud struggling from the outside. Guess who isn't? Cheyenne Parker holding the follow through just a bit. Atlanta after that last free throw made from the Mystics. Cheyenne Parker dialing it up again. We see you, Cheyenne Parker. Well, Washington gets Tiffany Hayes to go right. Atkins from the top of the key drains it. They're going to have to step up to the challenge because the dream is really starting to feel it. 11-point lead for Atlanta. The dish out to Courtney Williams with a nice little sign from Courtney Williams to the Mystics bench. Hines Allen going against Monique Billings. Washington just standing around watching Hines Allen. She delivers. And look at the bodies in front of Tiffany Hayes on that left-hand side. But Tiana Hawkins. 13-point lead for the Atlanta Dream, having a stellar third quarter as they continue it with Monique Billings finishing at the rim. At the top of the key, just checks in for Hines Allen and turns the ball over at the top of the key. Swarming defense by Odyssey Sims, takes it and delivers on the other end. Still gives the Mystics the ball. Less than 40 seconds left in this quarter. Plaisance to Leslie, swarmed on the inside by Atlanta and a much-needed bucket by the Mystics as well in those 25 minutes. Washington in that zone with scrambling out of it. Odyssey Sims working off a of Cheyenne Parker screen. No good there, but the cleanup crew with Elizabeth Williams finishing on the right. It's from the field to China. Cross-court pass from Elizabeth Williams to Tiffany Hayes. You got a feeling that was going to be at the bottom of the bucket. Well, you got to look at the defense of the dream and how disruptive they've been. And I mentioned Natasha Cloud earlier, and, and she looks like she may be icing. Who has been fantastic. Another night scoring in double figures, and Odyssey Sims continues in at LaChina. They just have like the mother strength or something, and maybe we're seeing that from Odyssey Sims tonight to, or today as well. Leilani Mitchell drains a three from the top of the key to get the eighth spot in the 2020 playoffs. So very interesting for Atlanta to come out so strong, especially without Kennedy Carter as Odyssey Sims continues. Just feeling like, listen, guys, we're not we're not going to do this tonight. You know, they were emotionally drained and, and didn't feel like playing was the right thing. to. Everyone was on the same page. It was so commendable and very admirable to see how even just between Atlanta and the Mystics, how they came together. They wore the T-shirts with the gunshot. So it's very interesting to see how everything is coming together for the backcourt play in Atlanta as they are a couple of seconds from closing this one out as Crystal Bradford just having fun with it at this point. And with that bucket, Atlanta is at 101 points after struggling to score the basketball in their last couple of games.